Anuradha Nakshatra, the star of love, friendship, and all manner of affection. This nakshatra is made by the beautiful line of stars at the very front of the Scorpio constellation, Beta Scorpii, Delta Scorpii, and Pi Scorpii. And the very interesting thing about these three stars is that none of them is a bachelor. All three of these stars are binaries, or triples. Very fitting for the star of love and friendship and affection. The technical coordinates for Anuradha are sidereal Scorpio, 3 degrees 20 minutes through 16 degrees 40 minutes, which is the same as saying tropical Scorpio, 29 degrees 20 minutes through Sagittarius, 12 degrees 40 minutes. Anuradha's symbol is just like the previous star Vishaka, showing that they're actually a pair, the symbol being a goal, the thing that you're dedicated to. And this is the star of dedication and devotion. So that symbol is the thing that you dedicate yourself to, the goal. But Anuradha also has a symbol of a flower, lotus flower, which makes it very similar to Pushya Nakshatra. So you can see that Anuradha is a much softer Nakshatra than the previous Vishaka. More about the affection and the love than just the dedication and determination. Anuradha's Devata, Anuradha's deity, Anuradha's god is Mitra. He's the god of devotion and friendship. Mi means union, and Tra means maker or doer. So Mitra means union maker. Love, that's what love is, it's the union maker. Or you can uh, take the word as Midtra, where Mid means affection and Tra means maker. So there you have love maker. So Mitra, the love maker, the union maker. That's the Devata for this nakshatra. So you know everything about this nakshatra now just by knowing who this Mitra really is. And now just by knowing what the symbol of the nakshatra is, you know how to interpret the nakshatra. You know how to interpret another symbol which comes into it. So any planet which goes into Anuradha is going to reveal to you the subjects which you are devoted to. The subjects of that planet become the subjects of your devotion. Devotion itself is attractive. Love itself is beauty. There's not love and beauty. Love is beauty. Existence of love in your heart makes you lovable. So Anuradha bestows a lot of beauty, attractiveness, personability. The very word Anuradha means affection. Aradhana means devotion. Radha means the giving of oneself. Anuradha, the thing which results from giving oneself. Love, affection. One can hardly say the word Anuradha which, without remembering the supreme goddess of devotion the supreme origin of bhakti, Sri Radha. And in fact, if you study Mitra, the god of Anuradha Nakshatra, in the Rig Veda, you will realize how important bhakti is, bhakti, devotion, love. How important is bhakti in a real Vedic tradition? Superficially, Vedic tradition appears to be ceremonial, ritualistic. But if you really understand Mitra and the importance of Mitra, and if you study Mitra in the Rig Veda, you'll see the importance of Bhakti in the Rig Veda. For example, if you look at Rig Veda 359, which is a unique hymn dedicated solely to Mitra without a partner. Most of the, most of the time Mitra is partnered with his friend Varuna. If you read this hymn and bear in mind that the word Mitra is referring to the God of love and affection and devotion and bhakti. So just every time you hear Mitra, don't think of a deity, think of bhakti, think of devotion, think of love. Then you'll understand the importance that the Vedic culture, Rig Vedic culture, places on love and bhakti. I'll read you this. Mitra's words inspire us to action. Mitra sustains heaven and earth. 
Mitra looks on us with eyes that never close. Let this offering of sacred butter go to Mitra. O oh Mitra, we strive to live by your principles. There's so many laws, there's so many rules. But the real rule of Vedic culture is bhakti, love, devotion, Mitra. We want to live by your rules. Your rule is the highest rule. So, Anuradha Nakshatra gives virtue. Because love is virtue. The size of your nose, the quality of your eyes, the amount of math or Sanskrit that you know is not really a virtue. The real virtue is your affection. How much affection is in your heart flowing towards other people. Mitra is adorable and auspicious from the very beginning. He's gracious, generous and kind. Mitra is the most deserving of praise. Mitra's grace brings true gains, inspiring us to achieve true glory. So Mitra's glory is well known. It's the true glory. It's the true gain. It overpowers heaven. It's more desirable than paradise. It is the true paradise. It's the true heaven. And, any, and everybody, even in heaven, is overpowered by this, by love. It surpasses the ends of the earth. Regardless of race, everyone seeks Mitra's shelter, which is always strong and sustains even the gods. Mitra nourishes everyone, gods, men, priests alike. He is the fulfillment of sacred law. So with this, you can see the Vedic concept of bhakti. It's not a later development, it's not a Puranic theme. It's there in the Vedas, but people don't know how to read the Vedas. So how many of you beautiful, lovely people out there have planets in Anuradha Nakshatra? Let me know in the comments below. And please like the video and subscribe to my channel.